Well, today, the jury in the murder trial of former Mount Carmel Dr. William Husell was sent home early. NBC 4's Dan Perlman joining us now live from the Franklin County Courthouse. Dan, they, they aren't expected to be back in the courtroom tomorrow, not till Monday, right? <laughs> That's absolutely right, Brad. Now keep in mind, the trial is scheduled for four days a week, so tomorrow was already an off day. But here's what happened today. As expected, the chief clinical officer for Trinity Health, Mount Carmel's parent company, was back on the witness stand. Dr. Dan Roth testified until about 10 after 10, and then there was a break. The jurors were out of the courtroom, and that's when the attorneys discussed whether testimony from Dr. Roth and Dr. Larry Swanner, who testified yesterday, relied on privileged information. Judge Michael Holbrook says he's already determined the information is privileged, but now he will decide what, if any of that, to release to the lawyers. Meanwhile, a little before noon, Holbrook sent the jury home. Also today, the defense moved for a mistrial in the case, citing part of Roth and Swanner's testimony. They say the defense was not given expert reports for either. The state argued in opposition, and Holbrook ultimately overruled the motion. I feel it's fair that they can comment about why they did a certain act, okay? It does not allude directly to the doctor, it just alludes to what they're doing. Um, I don't think it's been prejudicial at all, so the motion's overruled. Thank you. Now the attorneys have until 3 o'clock tomorrow to file written arguments on the privileged information issue. The judge said he expects to rule on this tomorrow. Again, trial is not expected to resume until Monday morning. Local for you at the Franklin County Courthouse, Dan Perlman, NBC4.